Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, uh, we will learn how to derive the Marshallian and Hicksian demand functions uh, with an example. The question is, uh, given a utility function u of xy is equal to xy, where x and y are the two goods, find Marshallian and Hicksian demand functions for goods x and y. So we have to find the Marshallian and Hicksian demands uh, from a given utility function okay so first uh, as we have seen in the earlier video the difference between Marshallian uh, demand and Hicksian demand basically this uh, Marshallian demand is also called the um, uh, uh, sorry uncompensated demand function and Hicksian is called a uh, Hicksian demand function rather is called the compensated demand function okay so in case of uh, so first we will derive uh, the Marshallian demand function that is Marshallian demand function and in parallel uh, we will uh, derive the Hicksian Hicksian demand function demand okay so the difference between these two is uh, that uh, with the given utility in case of the Marshallian demand function we want to maximize our uh, we want to maximize our utility that is u is equal to here the utility is given as x y subject to our uh, budget constraint let us say our budget constraint is equal to uh, that is price of good x times quantity brought of the uh, good x plus uh, price of good y times the quantity brought of the good y should be equal to the uh, budget that is the income that means the consumer uh, totally uh, spends uh, the income on these two uh, goods that is x and y okay sorry here it is y so i will write here so in the marshall demand what we do we want to maximize our uh, utility and holding our budget constraint constant okay uh, in case of uh, the Hicksian demand function what we do uh, we just want to minimize our expenditure that is we want to minimize minimize our uh, this expenditure that is uh, m is equal to so first i will write uh, price of x times the quantity brought of x uh, plus price of y times quantity brought of y uh, uh, is equal to the money income that means we want to minimize our expenditure holding the utility constant that is uh, u is equal to x y so the basic difference between these two uh, demand functions uh, is that in case of Marshallian demand function we want to maximize our utility holding our uh, budget level constant constant uh, and in case of Hicksian demand function, uh, we want to minimize our uh, expenditure. That is, uh, we want to minimize our uh, uh, expenditure on the two goods to get the same level of utility. We hold utility constant in the Hicksian demand function. And in case of Marshallian demand, we hold this money income, rather this budget constraint constant. Okay, this is the main difference. So how do we solve this? simply uh, first uh, here it is the objective function this is the constraint part what we will do uh, we will use the Lagrange's method uh, in uh, solving uh, uh, rather in finding the Marshallian demand function and Hicksian demand function so uh, since this is our objective function what we do this is our constraint first uh, we set this constraint equal to zero so setting this constraint in equal to zero and multiplying it by lambda so we can write this constraint like this uh, m minus p x times x plus p y times y should be equal to zero and we multiply this constraint by lambda okay after that what we do uh, we just form the Lagrange's function Lagrange's function is uh, formed by uh, adding the objective function and the resulting constraint okay so our objective function is x y plus uh, this lambda times 
एम माइनस आ पी एक्स टाइम्स एक्स सॉरी इट इज हियर माइनस माइनस पी वाई टाइम्स वाई ओके दिस इज आवर लैगरेज फंक्शन सो नाउ द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंडीशन एज वी नो इज दैट we uh, partially differentiate this lagrange's function with respect to x y and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously and solve for x and y okay so first we partially differentiate with respect to x okay so partially differentiating this lagrange's function with respect to x that means the derivative of x is equal to uh, one here so this is y here the derivative of m is zero since no x is involved in last term also so here the derivative of x is one so we will get minus lambda times p of x okay similarly l subscript y means a uh, partially differentiating this lagrange's function with respect to y so we will get here derivative of y would be one so we will get here x minus a uh, Uh, the derivative of y is one, so we will get minus uh, lambda p y minus lambda p y. Okay. Similarly, partially differentiating with respect to lambda will give us so the derivative of lambda is one. We will get m minus p x times x minus p y times y is equal to zero. Okay. Here we can further solve this. Uh, this will become y is equal to transposing this um, term on rhs this will become plus lambda p x similarly here we can manipulate this we can write x is equal to transposing this will become lambda p y let this be equation first let this be equation second okay we have to do nothing with this uh, here so we will divide equation first by a second so equation first by second what will we get y divided by x is equal to this lambda and lambda will get cancelled so we will get p x divided by p y okay and solving for y here we will get y is equal to this x will get multiplied when transposing to the rhs so this will become p x divided by p y times x okay similarly uh, we uh, we can get the value of x also okay similarly uh, we can get the value of x is equal to x would be equal to price of so we will uh, derive that value also uh, the value of x first what will we do uh, we will just plug uh, this value we will uh, plug y is equal to px divided by py times x in our constraint function okay in our constraint function so we have p of x that is px sorry px times x plus py times the value of y is this very uh, uh, term which is uh, px divided by py times x should be equal to m okay here this py and py will get cancelled we will get a uh, px times x plus px times x px times x is equal to m or we can write here or twice px twice px times x is equal to m or x is equal to transposing this on rhs this will get uh, into the denominator this is equal to twice p x okay so this uh, thing uh, this very uh, relationship is the hexian demand function for good x similarly uh, we can find x a uh, hexian demand function for good y would be like this m divided by twice p Uh, y okay so this is our uncompensated demand function for good x and y and i have shown you how to derive this okay i hope i am making myself clear uh, clear in this video i am just skipping some videos as i 
uh, I, as I understand uh, that you know them as I have shown you in the earlier videos. Okay. Now what will we do? Uh, we will uh, find the Hexian demand function. So basically um, the procedure is same. Our in this case our objective function would be this very thing. And this is our constraint part. Okay, we will form the Lagrange's uh, uh, Lagrange's uh, function first. So first, uh, uh, how do we find the Lagrange's function? We set this constraint equal to zero and multiply it by lambda. So I will write here backwards uh, rather. So this will become u minus x y is equal to zero and multiplying it by lambda. This is our co resulting constraint. Now, how do we uh, form the Lagrange's? As I have shown in this uh, uh, in this uh, Marshall in demand function, so we just take this objective function that is equal to p x x uh, plus p y y. Uh, so I will write here p x times x plus uh, p y times y, and uh, to this objective uh, function. To this objective function we add this resulting constraint which is formed by first setting this constraint equal to zero and uh, multiplying it by lambda so this is lambda times u minus x y okay so this is our Lagrange function now the first order condition requires uh, what is the first order condition we partially differentiate uh, this Lagrange function with respect to x y and lambda and solve them simultaneously to get the optimal value of x, y and lambda. So we don't need here lambda. So we'll just uh, solve for x and y. Okay. So L subscript x means partially differentiating this function with respect to x. The derivative of x would be 1. So we will get P x. Okay. No x is involved here. The derivative of x is 1. So we will get minus lambda y okay and set it equal to zero so here uh, i forgot it is equal to zero it is equal to zero here okay similarly uh, partially differentiating with respect to y so the derivative of y would be one so we will get p y uh, here the derivative of y is one so we will get minus uh, lambda x is equal to zero and we can write uh, this like this uh, p x is equal to transposing this will become plus lambda y similarly transposing this will become so i will write p y is equal to lambda x let this be equation first second and we can write the last uh, condition also here actually we don't need uh, here but uh, still i will write here so partially differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to lambda so we will get the derivative of lambda would be one so we will get u minus x y is equal to zero okay now dividing equation first by second what will we do what will we get this lambda lambda will get cancelled p x divided by p y p x divided by p y is equal to y divided by x okay and solving for y we can write y is equal to p x uh, divided by p y when transposing this uh, the uh, denominator will become the multiple uh, here so i will write it like this okay so what will we do we will put this very uh, this very uh, relation in our constraint part okay to get our Hicksian demand function for good uh, x or y okay so we will put this in this uh, constraint part so we will get u is equal to x times y the value of y is this very thing that is p x divided by p y times the value of x okay so uh, which implies u is equal to x into x is x square times uh, p x divided by p y okay or we can write x square is equal to u when transposing this will get reciprocated here so this will become p y divided by 
पी एक्स और आवर एक्स इज इक्वल टू वी विल टेक द पॉजिटिव रूट ओनली सो दिस विल बिकम अंडर रूट ऑफ यू टाइम्स पी वाई डिवाइड बाई पी एक्स ओके सो दिस इज आवर sorry here it is the marshall in demand function i will as write it as subscript m so here i will write it the subscript h uh, to make the difference between them so this is our hickshian demand function here uh, hickshian demand function for good x and similarly our hickshian demand uh, for good y uh, would be equal to if we solve we we, we will get u times p x divided by p y. Okay. Now, what does these two demand functions tell us? Here we can see the Marshall Lie demand function or uh, the uncompensated demand function is a function of income and price, and the Hicksian demand function is only uh, the function of the ratio of the uh, prices. because we hold this utility co uh, constant so we can uh, safely say uh, that hickshian demand function is the function of prices alone uh, but uh, the uh, marshall lie demand function is the function of uh, income and price okay uh, in case of uh, the marshall lie demand function what we try to what we want to uh, achieve is that uh, we want to if this is our graph here in this case uh, our budget constraint is given okay that means uh, this budget constraint is given and uh, with this budget constraint we want to reach to the highest independence curve okay so the budget is given and we want to achieve the highest independence curve but in case of the hickshian demand function uh, our Uh, utility or our indifference curve is given and uh, with that uh, we want to minimize our expenditure we want to get uh, this uh, very we want to uh, rather get the two goods at the minimum possible cost okay so this is the uh, rather the minimization problem that is uh, we want to minimize our expenditure uh, to get a certain level of utility and uh, this marshall lie demand function is actually we want to maximize our utility holding our budget uh, uh, constant okay this is the main difference uh, between uh, these two demand functions and here we can also see that uh, this uh, marshall lie demand function is homogeneous uh, of degree 0 in terms of uh, income and price but uh, the hickshian demand function is homogeneous of degree 0 but only in case of uh, but only in terms of prices so homogeneity uh, we will see in the next uh, video i will explain in simple words what is meant by homogeneous and how the marshall lie demand uh, function is homogeneous of degree 0 in terms of income and price but the hickshian demand function is only homogeneous in terms of the prices alone okay i hope i make myself clear thank you